coming up. So what I want you to hear today in this video is what each of these different drumsticks sound like. Did you know that there is more than one way to record stuff? Well, there is. Believe it or not, different guitars sound different, different strings on different guitars sound different, different drums sound different, different snare drums sound different for what you want to do, and even different drum sticks sound different for different situations. To my knowledge, there's four different kinds of drumsticks typically used in the studio or live. You have the standard just wood drumstick with a wooden tip. There is a nylon tip drumstick that has plastic on the top and this sounds quite different than the wood tip, uh, mostly on cymbals. Then there are drumsticks called um, hot rods and it's basically 20 or so really tiny little pieces of wood all stuck together. It's actually kind of a bendable drumstick. And the fourth type of drumstick is the brush. So I don't know if it's technically called a drumstick. It's more like a brush, but it's got these like metal brushes that you can adjust how tight they are or how soft they are. Uh, a lot of it's used in jazz, um, but this has a very, very different sound than the other sticks. Okay, I lied. there's actually one other what I would call main type of drumstick, and that is a drum mallet, which is essentially a wooden drumstick, but at the tip is a large soft ball of felt. It can almost sound as loud as a normal drumstick, but it's much more of a muffled hit and less of a sharp attacking hit sound. So what I want you to hear today in this video is what each of these different drumsticks sound like. I'm going to play on all of the cymbals, I'm going to play on the the snare drum and the toms. I'm going to play the same beat for all of the uh, drumsticks. So let's dive in. So here's something to notice, uh, again, as I had mentioned with the wood tip drumsticks, just the standard wood tip drumsticks, and the nylon or plastic tip drumsticks. When it comes to cymbals, if you're hitting the cymbal with this part of the stick um, on the plastic tip or the nylon tip, it sounds very different than if you hit it with the wood tip. It's a lot brighter of a sound. It's a lot more pingy of a sound. Um, a lot more metallic. It's really bringing out the actual metal sound of the cymbals. The brushes are obviously the most unique of them all. You can do some unique things with these uh, drumsticks that you can't do with the other ones, like take advantage of the fact that it's a brush and you can brush it across the snare, kind of get a brushy sound. In the folk rock band that I used to be in, uh, these came in handy for a couple of songs that we had on the album, and then I would bring them to the shows and I'd pull them out for a couple of songs that we played. So it adds some dynamics to the drums, which I think is very important depending on the genre that you're playing.
that is it. Feel free to check out a couple of other videos related to recording drums. Um, I've done a few videos about recording drums with one microphone. So if you've just got one microphone, you might find these videos to be somewhat helpful. And that's it. Bye.